servant is listening, Father. Morning, you wonderful people. This morning, we're going to just jump right into it and share another testimony, which just brings us closer to the revelation of the goodness of God. Today, I want to talk a little bit about spiritual warfare and what it means to be to be led by the Spirit of God and not always live in a state of fear reacting to what the enemy does. The testimony is rooted maybe about 20 years ago, 18 years ago, where I was part of a very powerful deliverance ministry. And what happened on this one encounter changed my life forever and established a root inside of me, a a foundational pillar inside of me of the Lord's goodness and faithfulness, which has yet to be shaken. And it started something like this. Myself, as a young guy just learning what was happening in the ropes, and my spiritual mom, who I really honor and respect, were busy in a deliverance ceremony, ceremony, a deliverance session of a, of a beautiful woman of God, which was really struggling with oppression. And part of the journey as the demonic were manifesting, I remember lying there or sitting there next door to the woman who was lying on the floor. My spiritual mom was on the, on the one side to me. And every single time the demons would manifest and goggle and scream out and blaspheme and, and just get angry, I remember I would take my shofar and just, and just declare to the heavens that God, you are coming. Jesus, you are coming. And in so doing, declaring to everybody, everyone in the spiritual realm to remember Jesus is Lord and he's coming on the clouds. And the trumpet was symbolic of that. But little did I know that even this process of me blowing the shofar was rooted in fear, was rooted in reaction to what the enemy was doing. And I was not Listen carefully, and this is a painful revelation I had to go through. I was not being led by the Spirit of God. As we were sitting there, next door to this this woman, the foam was coming out of her mouth and she was tensing up, and it was definitely one of the more visual deliverances I've been involved with. And again, the enemy comes and he, and he blasphemes and he says his stuff, and I blow my shofar. And we continue in the deliverance and we pray and we're praying. And then a few minutes later, another manifestation. I blow my shofar again. And then as I'm feeling really spiritual and I'm seeing breakthrough happen here, as I just pick up that shofar to my lips one more time, I get a backhand from my spiritual mom. Right then and there, in the middle of this intense spiritual encounter, I get a good solid backhand from her. And she just says something to me which rocked me to my core. Stop reacting. Stop reacting. And I thought, what? What do you mean? What what are you talking about? I'm not reacting. I'm glorying God here. And then, then I just observed and I just got quiet and I watched. And while we're busy with this deliverance, she didn't give up about what the enemy was doing. She was sitting there with her hand on this woman's shoulder and she was in God's presence. She was adoring and worshipping God. She was in this private little praise bubble, worship bubble, where she was in such a place of adoration of the Father that she couldn't even recognize or see what the enemy was doing because she was listening to what the Holy Spirit was saying. And she just stayed there. She just stayed in the presence and the peace and the rest of the Father while all chaos was happening around her. All the demons were going crazy. But they did not phase her. They did not even influence her. She did not even twitch. She did not even anything to what the enemy was doing. She was so in tune on loving the Father. She was so in tune to only hearing what the Holy Spirit is saying, she did not give a moment to listen to the lie and the show of the enemy. 
I, on the other hand, was all spiritual and warfare and taking my shirt off and getting ready for this battle and taking my shofar and my Bible and my scriptures as my warfare weaponry. But I didn't know the rest. I didn't know the peace. I didn't know the joy of what it meant to be able to look at the one who fights my battles for me. So here I'm sitting as this young guy and I look at my spiritual mom and she's so in love with Jesus. Jesus drops a word into her heart and she speaks the word into this woman and the woman gets delivered straight away. And the love of God just pours through my spiritual mom onto this woman getting deliverance. And the love and the oil and the presence of God just just almost broke out of the bubble of my spiritual mom and just covered me and covered this woman we were doing deliverance on. That the goodness and the presence of the living God just, just brought freedom, brought liberty. And within seconds, this lady was just lying on the floor and weeping and praising and singing spiritual thongs of... <laughs> spiritual thongs. <laughs> Spiritual songs of gladness, of joy, of worship, of praise. So I've taken this journey, this lesson of not reacting to what the enemy does, but listening to what the Spirit of God says only. We filter our ears, we filter our eyes, and it does not matter what the lie of the enemy is. It's all got to do with what's the Spirit of God saying to you. Every day, every situation, every day, look up, look at Him, do what He's doing. Every day, listen to what He's saying and you speak that, nothing else. Bless you guys and I love you. In Jesus' name.